Turner Blue Candle and Supply is located at 1915 Monroe Street, and this is our storefront. It's right after Christmas, and so we believe in the full 12 days, and so we haven't quite taken all of our, our decorations down yet. And cute handmade sign that a customer made for me. And this is as we walk in. We did just open not that long ago, and we haven't had our grand opening yet, and so we are still working on some odds and ends here and there, um, like we have to wait for some flooring. Um, we did use vinyl flooring, which is totally recycled, which is one of our, our things here at Carner Blue, is that we try to use as much recycled and renewable uh, resources as we can. This is just giving a view of what the store looks like. Um, just about everything in here is handmade, locally made by a lot of different artists and artisans. Pottery and is refillable, some of it. Again, we're not quite done with things. You see the Danish iron up there. Uh, we're going to put in a big, beautiful backsplash. And so this is all the retail store. And then walking over to this area, we get into our supply section. And this is where we keep all of the supplies, obviously. Uh, giant mountain of wax. We have 11,000 pounds on hand. Uh, right here is my new brand of votive wax that we had created just for us. And over here is my kids' area. Uh, my children actually created this area. They actually created the granulated wax, and you can make that into uh, little candles, little colored candles. Here's our dyes and our scents and our molds. And then back here, we've made use of this wall to hang up wicks and different accessories. We're still unpacking. Uh, and back here, I'll take you into the, the back room some of the secret stuff happens. We have a restroom, which is, I'm sure, very exciting. Um, our employee area where we can make food, and you might have noticed some oils in the background. Here is where we work, do a lot of our um, administrative duties. Christina's desk and my desk. And again, over here, we have, back in the corner, um, that was where the dyes will be created. We have wicks and bottles and just different things for administrative use. And then coming out here is where the candles are made. That's Molly and Teresa, and Molly is making some tea lights. Teresa is making a new batch of votives that we will have in the store. And over here is where we're doing all of our testing. So we have one, two, three, four cents, I believe, that we are testing for proper wick size at the moment. And then we will get those out on the shelves when they're done. It takes about 60, 70 hours to fully burn through a candle. Candles burn at different, uh, they, they burn differently throughout the cycle. Um, they burn down, as they burn down, they burn out, so it takes us a very long time to, to test so that's about it. Um, I'm sure I have a lot more to say, but I can't really think of it right now. And thank you for watching. This is also the area where we give classes and parties. So if you have a party or class that you'd like to reserve, we have those online at bookwhen.com, or I'm sorry, bookwhen.com backslash Carner Blue.